Harry Thompson from Silent Rhythms Dance is here. So if you or you know of someone who is hard of hearing, deaf or blind, let them know that they can come to Salsa in the Park and learn with Carrie. I want to demonstrate how to guide someone who is visually impaired, whether on the deaf floor or just you know, out on the sidewalk. My name is Carrie Thompson and my sign name is Carrie, a K by the mouth. And the name of the organization I founded is Silent Rhythm and the sign for that is Silent Rhythm. I don't think there are enough words that can accurately describe what dancing is for me. It's a love, it's a passion, it's a uh, it's a cause. It's also been a form of therapy because at the same time I moved to Boston, I was also losing more and more of my eyesight. I was starting to feel like I was retreating back into isolation and dancing was a way to pull me out to do something that I really love, but to help me stay a part of the community. I applied for the New England Foundation for the Arts Creative City Grant because I was thinking about all other people who are deaf blind like myself or have other extreme challenges and how the dance can help us cope. My title of the project is Movement to Move the Marginalized from the Margin. One man that I'm thinking about, his name is Randy. He's one of my best dance students, actually. He's been so focused and committed to the art of dancing. Randy has usher syndrome, the same as me. He came to my first class four years ago, and he seemed overwhelmed. And now he's extremely confident on and off the dance floor. What we're going to do is demonstrate the proper way to guide somebody who is blind. I can't teach you what it's like to be a person with a disability. I can try to help you understand it. So how do I get people to care? You find a commonality, and for me, that commonality was art. So you create this way of a dialogue that doesn't have to be about disability, it's just about the art. You guys are going to get a fabulous demonstration from this amazing dancer. It's still important that people with disabilities have the opportunity to be at the front and center of not just learning the art, but teaching the art.